Hey guys, it's time for my February empties and I have a good variation of beauty, makeup, skincare, all kinds of stuff this month. So we're going to jump in with the first one on the top. This is the Aveeno Positively Radiant Daily Moisturizer and me and my husband both use this. I use this every single morning and I think it's just absolutely a wonderful, very sensitive daily moisturizer. It does have SPF of 15. This doesn't break me out. This doesn't do anything funky to my skin at all. It's just really kind of simple, which is nice. Um, doesn't have too much of an intense scent. No, it's just light. Um, I've tried both the Target brand and the Aveeno brand. I think we have the Target one right now. We kind of just repurchase them when they're on sale because we always have it in our uh, bathroom. So love this, totally suggest it. I have a Queen Helene olive oil mask for dry skin. As you can tell, this was in a previous project pan. I think almost was it a year ago? I don't even know. It's been a long time. So this has definitely been in my collection for too long. I think if I cut open the package there would be a little bit of product for a couple more masks in there but I am calling it quits. Um, and I thought this was an okay mask. I don't think that it did too much of a difference. I just didn't see really anything actually happen from it. It kind of smelled kind of cool because it's olive oil. So it had kind of a unique scent and it's green and it you know has that cool green look when you're doing like a, a mask, but I wouldn't repurchase it again. It wouldn't be an empties video without my Kirkland facial wipes. Love these. Repurchase them. The packaging has changed though at Costco. I was just repurchasing these and it's a different package. So I'm really hoping that the actual product isn't different. I will let you guys know probably next month because that's probably when I will have broken into those and used one up. This is one of Matt, my husband's empties. This is the Ocean for Men Body Lotion. He really likes the body lotions from Bath and & Body and the men's line is really nice because it has really cool scents. Uh, this was a really great scent that he enjoyed, I enjoyed. He would just use this um, you know, for a body lotion, a hand lotion, keep it in his bag for work if he was getting dry or whatever. So uh, he finished up that and he would repurchase it. Uh, the Creamy Pumpkin Soap by Bath & Body. This is not one of my favorite scents, so I wouldn't repurchase this scent, but of course I always have these soaps. I think they're amazing. They're my favorite. I only have two like makeup related products and this one's like not even like a product product. This is a just like spoolie brush that I was using for my like eyebrows and it's so loose now where it doesn't like stay still if you're trying to comb through your brows. It's like just broken. So um, I think this was like a cheapy chugger one. It doesn't even have a brand on it, so I don't even know when I got this or where I got it. But I love spoolies. These are always great to have in your collection. Um, I've gotten quite a few actually from MAC too. If you're kind of testing through some of their products and looking at stuff, um, if you ask them for a couple of the spoolies, they will give them to you, or at least my MACs will. So if you need one on hand for your collection, you can always try that. Or you can always purchase like a whole bulk of them on like Amazon for a couple bucks. The next product I have is the Sephora Transparent Brow Gel in Waterproof and I was really quite disappointed with this product. Um, I got it and it was in my collection for a little bit in my like backup stash and I used it about three or four times and the spoolie off the end popped off. So I had to use like a spoolie like this, um, some of my MAC ones that I have and I had to just dip it in every day and had to throw those away after like a week because you know all the gunk was built up on it and it was dry and I just didn't think that this was really all that great of a eyebrow gel. It held my brows sort of together but by the end of the day if I had like brushed my face or anything my brows would be all wonky. Um, sometimes it didn't even take to the end of the day and like sometimes I'll look in pictures or um, like videos and I'll see that I had a few stray brow hairs. I wouldn't suggest it. I have right now just the e.l.f. It's like the lash and the brow gel and I think it's like a dollar, two dollars, three dollars, you know, they always have sales and that is working ten times better than this one. Next I have actually another one of Matt's products. This is the Crew brand. It's the stimulating conditioner and 
this lasts a really really long time for him I think he had it well over a year before he finally finished it he's got really short hair so he doesn't need a ton it's not like us who have you know long hair and so we go through shampoo and conditioner quite quickly but this is one of his favorite conditioners favorite brand for like hair products for men um, as well and I can't remember what does this smell like it's got a oh it's got a very nice uh, like minty scent so I think that's how it gets like the stimulating scent because it has the peppermint or whatever in it. So he really likes it. He's already repurchased it. And then last but not least, this is the Perfectly Pure Moroccan Argan Oil um, Moisturizing Body Lotion. And this has a very, very light, just kind of sweet scent. It doesn't, you can't like place it to anything else. It's just light and sweet. I'm kind of hit or miss with this product. I do like that it has a very nice light scent so people who don't like you know like the bath and body scents would enjoy something like this because it is just very calming and, and low key. Um, it didn't soak into my skin very well. It's one of those moisturizers that you put it on and you do rub it in fairly well but you still have like that white residue until like an hour or so and then you just kind of feel like it has blended in finally. I usually do hardcore moisturizing at night after I take my shower um, so it doesn't really bother me too much but I never use this if I took a day shower because I knew it wasn't going to soak into my skin very well or very quickly and when it comes to like moisturization on a scale of like 0 to 5, 0 being like no moisture, 5 being like amazing body butter luxurious, I'd say it's like a 3. So um, I, I think just like my bath and body ones, the triple moistures definitely you know far succeed this but this is a little bit more I think of like a natural product it has no artificial color no parabens no petroleum or SLS no animal testing and a hundred percent vegetarian ingredients so I mean it's got good stuff in it like it don't love it those are all the empties for this month not a ton of them but there's still a good variation from different categories of beauty so and some good men's stuff I have quite a few of Matt's empties in here this month so I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I will see you in one of my next videos bye